The fire brigade, brigade from Monaco symbolizing this crossing, this real achievement. And it's just a few meters go, a few meters before accomplishment of the 60,000 and six kilometers. And now a few seconds to go, we will see they're going down under this shadow. And now it's three, two, one, it's done, it's done. The first around the world tour. A lot of hundreds, emotions here, they all achieved it. What started with the first dream eight years ago by Raphael Gonchamp when he was in Iceland seeing how the glacier were going back and so that he will experience the climate change happening today in the world and now they all achieved it having done and crossing all the different oceans throughout the world for 18 months they were distributing the image and the message that change is possible. It's not just about talks, it's about taking action, taking action to change the energy management, the energy consumption in the world, and that this is possible, that we have with solar energy a mean and tools to go. Let's see this fantastic moments here in front of Monaco, the four that did it, Raphael Donchamp, the founder, the initiator, the Swiss from Neuchâtel, Jens Langwasser from Germany, Christian Oxenbein from Switzerland, nearby Bern doing all the energy consumption, and of course the captains from France, Aaron Le Roussic and Patrick Marchessault. There are of course just four on the deck because one has two pilots actually still the Tour Honor. And we see the torch firing the torch for achievement, for victory. Voilà, on a, on a accompli ces faits. On voit les torch. On voit ce qui sont faits, ce qui sont réunis, les cinq qui ont crossé tous les océans. Tout ce qui a débuté il y a huit ans avec un rêve de Raphaël Donchamp qu'on voit là sur le bateau. Levez les mains, saluer à tous les supporters, à tous les partenaires qui sont venus explicitement ici à Monaco de partout en monde entier. On a visité 28 pays dans le monde entier. On a fait beaucoup de stops. Et euh, donc, euh, on a distribué le message. Et peut-être on peut voir ensemble la carte qui sont vues. Let's see the map, what they all did. On est sur le pied Oui, oui. Monsieur Lepas, euh, euh, vous êtes euh, ministre de l'économie du canton de Vaud. Qu'est-ce que vous sentez maintenant dans ce moment historique ah, une, une très grande fierté quand l'on pense que l'économie vaudoise a su réaliser à la fois Planète Solar et va réaliser Solar Impulse euh, pour une toute petite entité quel le canton de Vaud, 700 000 habitants, réaliser voilà. deux gros défis. Voilà. Chez toi, uh, we see here so, Mr. Lepard, the economy minister of the Canton de Vaux, which is the headquarter of Planet Solar. And we see in front of the boat, we see Sea Shepherd even coming. One uh, also associating a little bit with the World Wildlife Fund uh, and being together and following the whole expedition around the world. Uh. So, Mr. Lepard was saying he's very proud of being part that Planet Solar was, of course, in uh, Yverdon, which is part of the Canton de Vaux, and therefore achieving this world around tour with solar energy only. Perhaps let's see now the last pictures of this journey of Planet Solar.
before we see us again in the studio, uh, Planet Solar will now do uh, crossing here. So to show them a little bit to the hundreds of spectators coming here. And then we go back to the studio where we will have a lot of guests discussing together how this achievement was possible. And of course, the highlight when they will put their feet on, uh, on the harbor so that we will see really uh, and meet the crew and talk to them. Uh, we are here uh, with a Swiss Parliament member. Madame Chevalier, qu'est-ce que vous sentez dans ce moment important? C'est un moment très très fort parce que c'est le rêve d'un jeune homme qui s'est dit je vais faire le tour du monde bateau solaire et qui arrive aujourd'hui. Et je crois que c'est vraiment un exemple pour la jeunesse. On a des challenges énormes qui nous attendent avec l'énergie et Raphaël aujourd'hui nous montre la voie. Bravo quoi, vraiment bravo. Well, so she's saying she's very proud that Raphael has taken this initiative and uh, he's like the voice for the future generation that this change is possible, that it's just not about talks of energy management changing, but that this is like uh, the first step to go forward in a, in a new future. So what are you going to do next? Qu'est-ce que vous allez faire uh, maintenant avec uh, ce qui a été accompli aujourd'hui? C'est de montrer que l'énergie solaire, ce n'est pas l'énergie de demain, c'est l'énergie d'aujourd'hui. Et je crois que la performance réalisée le montre. On doit y croire, on doit y arriver. Et nous, les politiques, on doit mettre en œuvre maintenant tout ce qu'on dit. Il faut le faire. Et je crois qu'il nous montre, qu'il nous challenge. En fait, Raphaël nous challenge beaucoup. Et aujourd'hui, la balle est dans notre camp. OK, so she's saying like a normal man was taking and challenging the politicians around the world. It's now not about talks, it's about taking uh, responsibility and taking therefore the next steps um, and realizing uh, what this project has now shown, what is possible in the world uh, to change. And therefore we're looking forward uh, that you, the politicians, are taking the next steps. Thank you. Thank you too. And congratulations to Raphael and his team, of course. So congratulations to everybody.